Setting up Hey guys, what's up? Sorry I'm a little late. Jordan had my power cord and held it hostage. And it was a panic scramble to get everything set up. Hi Welsh, how are you doing? How's everything going? Everything a little better today? How's puppy? I'm glad you're here. I'm happy to see you this Friday. See you. <laughs> she's okay she's recovering oh good I'm so glad I don't know all the details and you do not have to share all the details but I'm happy that things are a little better today good you got any weekend plans I feel like I ask the same questions every time because like what's everybody doing this weekend how was everybody's weekend 
I genuinely want to know, though. I gotta live through you guys, because I don't do anything. I don't remember the last time I left my house. Actually, now I really gotta think about it. I think it was Tuesday when I drove to my students. You keep telling everyone someone stole her toe. I mean, you should just make up a whole story around it, I think. A really cool story around it. Maybe there's like a little sock that can have like a little pad in there that can, can give her a toe. <laughs> Aww. Should have seen the other dog. Exactly. One of those. One of those kind of stories. Well, Welsh, I added my Bring Me to Life to my song list so that I can play my own arrangement on stream if you'd like to hear that today. I definitely want to play it at some point. Um, because I'm proud of it, damn it. Hi, Art. How's it going? How are you? What's your weekend like? Tell me. Tell me so I can, you know, get some ideas on how to change up my life a little since I do the same thing all the time. <laughs> I'm doing good. I've had a very productive week. Feeling good. Feeling like the New Year's off to a pretty good start. Finished my next cover, like I'm ahead of schedule, and it's crazy coming from feeling like, I don't know how I'm gonna keep this up, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, I don't know how I'm gonna make time, I don't know how I'm gonna prioritize, and now I'm ahead of schedule because I'm excited about it. <laughs> I really am, I think, and like each one I feel like gets a little better because I know the process a little more and I um, know how to record a little cleaner and all this stuff. And I have a session right after this to learn how to mix it and everything. So yeah, I feel good. Thanks. Thanks. We'll see. Things tend to, as soon as I start teaching my classes, I tend to get really swamped feeling. So I'm just like really hoping that the fog doesn't like come back in and, you know, just feel kind of drained. Like you don't really get a recovery. I'm just hoping that I can go into all that without that happening. <laughs> But little kiddos sure can sap your energy like nothing else. I'm going to be really jangly today, by the way. This is my Sailor Moon charm bracelet that I got from Santa, my mom. Um, but it's probably going to jingle and jangle as I play. <laughs> it's like I've worn it once, Welsh, but it is probably my newest wig. I don't actually, I think it's kind of funny in some ways. Like, the hairline like or like the bangs start from like up here so there's just like big giant bangs so I don't love that but they're kind of fun <laughs> well she don't have all of my wigs memorized how dare you but yeah it's it's mostly the days that I haven't done my hair which is you know why I put a wig on <laughs> Sophie what's up how are you doing how are your workouts going and your New Year's goals? Or just life, chilling, not necessarily having to be productive. That's totally fine too. Okay, let me open up requests today. How do we do this? Boom and boom. Oh, there's a request up there from last time, I think. Or maybe you did it. Oh, you did it today, probably, right? Oh, no, that was last time. Okay. Okay, requests are open, and I'm just going to play whatever I'm in the mood for in between because it's Feel Good Friday, and they need to do that for myself. You're getting hench, guys. Can almost do a push-up. Selfie, let's go. I haven't heard hench. Is that, like, yoked? I like that. <laughs> well done. I um that was like one of the moments when Jordan and I became better friends, good friends, is when I was like deep in fight camp and he realized I couldn't do a push up. He's like, These people have not been training you right. You can't do a push up. So he helped me get my push ups down. <laughs> But the secret, Sophie, was to go, at least for me, it was to go from the ground up instead of, like, doing, like, half push-ups or, like, push-ups on your knees. Just, like, go full push-up, but go from the ground and push up. That's how I got it. But you're probably... Yeah, we, we have stacked as a word. Yeah, stacked, yoked, 
Mm. Pench. That's, I'm going to start using that. Built. There you go. There's another one. Strapped. Just kidding. That's not the same thing. <laughs> Henched. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> Doing assisted pull-ups. And I think that's building your back. Yeah. Pull-ups are the freaking hardest. And I feel like this day and age, like, unless you're actively working out your back, you don't really naturally ever get that movement in. Like, from all our computer work and our texting and stuff, like, we get a lot of front naturally, but we never, like, you have to actively work your back. You used to enjoy pull-ups. That's a whole nother level. Being able to do it is one level. Enjoying it, that's something else right there. But that makes sense with your climbing. That's the other thing, like climbing will help your back, wrestling helps your back. I'm sure there's a lot of like athletic things, there's a lot of back, but you have to just search it out these days. It's not going to just happen. We're all going to end up with terrible posture if we don't. So, yeah. Hi, Nuka girl, what's up? How are you? Nuka was the only person that was in our gala chat the other day. <laughs> it was nice to meet you and chat with you for two seconds. I was, um, what was I doing that day? I like couldn't, I had to be on mute most of the time, but thanks for showing up and just being interested in everything we're doing. I appreciate it. The band appreciates it. Nuka, um, if you would like to request a song, exclamation song list takes you over to my giant list of random songs. There's some classical, some anime, some film, some video game, uh, obviously City of Sound songs, mm, a lot of them are in there, not all of them, um, but you can totally request a song. If you can't figure out how to do it over the song list, just put it in chat and somebody will put it up on the queue for you. Um, but I would love to play something for you. Um, I also added my original cover of Bring Me to Life into the song list, so I do want to play that today. You went on the body composition machine at the gym, your body's more water than fat somehow. <laughs> I don't know how those things work. I've never done that. And they just have them at the gym. I feel like every time, uh, like, here, you have to pay to get a reading on that thing. Yes. <laughs> See, I was, like, baiting you guys into putting it up on the queue because I wanted to play it first. <laughs> Thanks, Buzz. So I do not have a version where I could take out some of the parts so it's just going to be the like original song and I'll just have to kind of double the lead line on it or like skip around to different parts. So you will be hearing all the other violins, but they're all me. So it's kind of fine. Pay for gym membership. So well, see, like I pay for gym membership, too, but that machine is extra or I don't know. I've just, I never tried it. Maybe it's not extra. I just, it seemed to be like it was an extra thing. Um, so if it was Tuesday, we, Jordan likes to do, um, kind of like board meetings, um, to kind of give everybody a heads up and like those who are supporting us and stuff kind of get like the first news on whatever's happening. Um, so we were just having a little board meeting. <laughs> That's rubbish. Capitalism. I know. <laughs> right. There's, in the gala discord there's a channel that's just city of sound so usually those kind of announcements are in there or you know yeah so really that is the way to get the the most um what's the word i'm trying to use like the most breaking news and like the sneak peeks is usually there and then yeah okay well, let's play. So this is the YouTube cover I released in January. Last week, two weeks ago or whatever. Thank you guys again for supporting it so much. It's climbing in views and I'm excited about it. And I'm just going to play it for you. We're right to know. Another bucket of pretzels. Awesome. Okay, whilst you eat your bucket of pretzels, I'm going to play
Hi, Kartu. Fairy Queen and Friends. <laughs> we are a fairy court here. Uh, you've listened to it well it's every morning, so my views are all coming from you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, so uh, thanks. Yeah, we, we, it's climbing. Like, I, it's, it is kind of fun to look and watch it grow. <laughs> it's like a little garden. A garden of music. Wow. And the next one will be out. In, I'm, I'm aiming for February 6th. Okay, well, as I wait for, oh, we do have some stuff. We've got God's Acre next. Sophie in the mood for some God's Acre. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Starts filming in February. You know what? Well, I didn't know that it started filming in February. That was really good timing. I saw some of their casting choices um, for the second season. I think there's a remastered game or something coming out this month as well. I don't know. I just love the song. And I liked the show too. And I, I have watched some of the um, the gameplay just on YouTube because I don't have PlayStation. I guess it, it, I heard it's cross-platform now though. So maybe I will play it. The story just seems really, really emotional and awesome. It's good. <laughs> oh, no way so. Yeah, God's Acre, your journey. I, you guys, listen to the lyrics as I play it, because um, something special. I think I do have, let me see somebody, here, I'll do it. I might have a link to lyrics right here. Oh, I do, look at that. So if you want to read the lyrics, if you can't understand them as I play it, then go check them out. They are pretty great. Um, um, here lies a victim, broken and cold. Help me, Sophie. Can't remember the next part of my own song. Here lies a victim broken and cold. Crap. <laughs> I don't know. It's cool, though. We'll find out. <laughs>
Sophie, I was just going to ask what part of that song like feels like it sums up your last two years. Is that it? I found where darkness goes to die. <laughs> it is a great line. It's a very metal, metal line. <laughs> yes, Nuka, there's also a randomizer if you go exclamation random. I see that two have found graves or gardens, though. Wait, no, that was Sophie. Whatever, yeah, you can random or just pick something, whatever. It's a kind of a random list because I am a random person. I come from a classical background, so I do have a love for that. I love Celtic fiddling because, I don't know, I just do. And, um, yeah, I don't know, it's random stuff. <laughs> you had a dream with me in it, Kartsu? That's cool. I maybe. Was I um, nice to you in the dream? <laughs> I am beautifully, uh, yeah, wonderfully made to rise. Yeah, for sure. I am beautifully I, wonderfully made to rise. Yeah, you know what? Godsaker has some real good lyrics now that I think about it. Yeah. Maybe that'll be the the theme song of the, the week, at least. All right, what's up next? Oh, more City of Sound. Great. <laughs> In the beginning, this one we play... We don't really play... I don't remember the last time we played it at a show, but it's uh, one of the instrumental interludes on our song. Oh, Porcupine! Thanks for the follow! I appreciate that. Uh, I will play a song for you if you want to check out my song list! Exclamation song list. Yes. If you can't figure out how to use it, if you haven't used Songless before, just drop it in chat and somebody can put it on the queue. Oh, good, Cartoon. <laughs> Jay was in it too. <laughs> so was it the whole band? Was it a show? Is it a prophecy that we're going to be playing over there soon? Their pre-roll ads piss you off. Yeah. You just want to watch. No more ads in my life, please. I feel like YouTube's the worst though, because you're just like, I'm just putting on a crackling fireplace that I want in the background or whatever, and then, I add, and then it goes on and on and on and on unless you physically go and skip it. It's actually the worst. Yeah, all your homies hate Twitch. <laughs> it's a necessary evil, guys. What's up, Porcupine, though? Thanks for stopping by. I see you on Twitter all the time. But yeah, I'll play something for you if you're if you're in the mood for something specific. If not, I'll just keep rolling through the list. Okay, so let's see if I remember actually how to play this since it's been a while. Agreed, porcupine. Agreed. Let's just get rid of ads altogether. Except for when it makes us money. <laughs>
Okay, well, thanks, Trevor, Song the Spot, for putting that up there, because I needed the practice. <laughs> Porcupine, you're at work, just hanging. Where do you work? You can hold, hum that whole one, so, wow. You really are in deep. Oh, we got some fun ones up here. Graves or Gardens, Greatest Showman, Counting Stars. Yes, it's going to be a good day. COS is in your veins. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Trampled fields, but the flower will guide our way. Face the night who have entered the fray and lost hey, every sir. time. It's not you, who sees a grave as an equal alive. These days will no longer need you, ledger is for the last time. witnesses.
Boom. Boom sauce. Porcupine, do you have another job uh, lined up or something that you know you want to do next? That's cool. That's a big step. You are killing the new year already. Sophie, this is your favorite violin one. Honestly, it's a fun one because I like all, the violin ones I like best are the ones that have a variety of parts, not just like I for one where I play a note the whole time. Um, <laughs> and that one definitely has some variety with the little do -do 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 and then, you know, other parts. So. Yeah, everybody jump. I know what you mean, Forky, but there's that one video where Jordan says that right at that spot, and that's pretty awesome. Something where you have to, s where you actually have something to do. Yeah, that's fair. You gotta find that sweet spot of like, not overwhelmed, but not totally bored. Right in the middle. It's a sweet spot right there. I'm still working on it because um, I teach a lot of students, and it can. It can get a little boring because <laughs> they're mostly I have this student last night though that she is killing it she sounded so good so that's really fun and engaging for me but yeah sometimes just repeating myself over and over again gets really boring but I get you never found I know it's a tough one it's a tough one to find I feel like that's like the secret to life though <laughs> is just finding that <laughs> sweet spot in all the areas Sophie's job is never boring. That's good. Is it overwhelming, though? Did it tip too far the other way? They're, like, stressful. Also, I, I'm pretty sure chat's very behind me. I am sensing that. Okay, Greatest Showman. We haven't played this in a while. It used to be a favorite. And to answer your question, Sophie, a part before a chorus, it depends. If you're talking about a city of sound song, our songs are always all over the place, um, like orchestration wise. And um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like form wise. But a pre chorus, you could just slap that term on pretty much anything that comes before a chorus. <laughs> Where is it? I have notes about volumes and stuff. Where is it? Oh, it's probably under the. That's stupid. Okay. Like in that song, the twiddly bit before the initial drop. I don't even know. It's so un it's so not the typical structure that honestly I don't even know what that's called there. <laughs> Porcupine, we are getting it on February 6th. And this is where you get the exclusive. So it's going to be the Last of Us theme song. And maybe I will sneak preview it today. So I did finish recording it. I would have to show you guys just the demo track because we have not mixed it yet. Um, but I could give you a little sneak preview. And I thought it would be so funny after you guys were... Um, making comments about Jordan coming through the curtains or something in my last video. It's <laughs> like, we should definitely do a scene, or at least like a B-roll scene, with the boys, Andrew and Jordan, off in the background as clickers. <laughs> and it would be amazing. <laughs> They're just randomly, like subtly though, just kind of like behind a tree or something where you'd have to really look for them. And yeah, I don't know. I think it would be really funny. So I'm already having fun with it in my mind. But yeah, it's a gorgeous theme, uh, guitar-based and just so moody, and oh, I had so much fun with it. <laughs> you know, I think I will. We'll, we'll shoot a scene outside the house or something with them, and it. it'll be funny. Let me show you. Since we're on the topic, let me show you guys right now. Remember, this is just a scratch like a demo this was not real recordings it was just me laying out my ideas um so there's some like noises in it and stuff probably jordan singing in the background and stuff like that but here it is i think this is the latest i think okay
It's not very long. There will be some changes and some better betterments for the real thing. That was kind of just the idea. Thanks, guys. I had so so much fun with it. Um, it's definitely right up my alley. Just that like dark, mystic, but I don't know. It kind of has Far Cry vibes, and um, yeah, I like it a lot. I'm excited about it. But yeah, exactly. You guys get kind of the. The, you get the um, inside scoop on all of this. So, there you go. Thanks, Porcupine. I appreciate it. I will be spamming it all over because that's just what you have to do these days. It drives me crazy. But uh, you will definitely see it if you follow me on anything. <laughs> and yeah, I loved the season one. Do you know when season... I mean, they're just starting filming season two, right? Does anybody know when they're shooting to release it? All right, A Million Dreams is up next to totally switch gears. Early 2025, okay. So we got some time. <laughs>
It's a cute song. It's a damn cute song. A million dreams are keeping me awake. My pinky locked up though. Ugh. I hate that. All right, Nuka, you ready for yours? stars let's go I have to take my jangles off though I feel like they're you're probably hearing them it's too bad darn it oh yeah it's a good day you guys are choosing some of my favorites or at least ones that just feel right today they feel so right Oh, there's just that last tiny little bit in there that I savor. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do it. Thank you. 
Brings back so many memories, Porcupine. Like what? What memories? Also, hi Holcomb, hi Misa. I saw you guys earlier. I don't know if you heard me say hello. You're welcome, Nuka, anytime. If any, I'm terrible at adding songs, like viewer requested songs to my song list, but you can always drop one in the Discord and I can if I have a minute and I'm just practicing and it's easy enough to get an arrangement together, I can totally add it. <laughs> childhood memories. Oh, fun childhood memories. Okay. Oh, we got some pirates and some fiddling. And Holcomb, I saw you request some BTS that I haven't played in forever. I might need to brush up on it. Mm -mm. Should figure out a way to have some background music just turn on when I'm setting up the next track so you guys aren't just sitting in silence. I'm not fancy like that though, I don't know how to do all that.
It also brings back memories for me, and I just thought of one now that you said that. Um, <laughs> so I used to have, so this tooth right here is fake. It's an implant. And I used to have it on, there's another one over here too that I was just born without my teeth, whatever. Um, but I used to have them on like a flipper retainer. So we went and saw, I don't, it, it was one of the Pirates of the Caribbean films in theater. We went to the premiere. It, not the whatever we went to the showing of it and I was like I'm gonna go full pirate so I took my teeth out and I like didn't have a teeth and I went full pirate to the to the movie it was fun <laughs> you haven't played in ages <laughs> oh sleeping sun nuka where have you been all my life I literally have said that is my favorite Nightwish song and um, I've been wanting to do an arrangement of Sleeping Sun. I can't find, um, let me see if I ended up finding the sheet music. It helps me to have, well, there's a few things if I was to just play it that I would need. Um, but honestly, that one would be a good one for just like an actual real original cover of. I love that song. I love it. Let me see if I can find some sheet music here. I can't believe, of, I feel like when people think of Nightwish, they don't remember that song. And I am, I just feel like soul sister, sleeping sun. Okay, I did find some stuff. Let's see. Hmm. I don't have no idea if any of these would be any good, but let me pull one up. Hmm. Okay. Me too. It's just that I love Flora Jansen. I love her voice. And she, she only has a, a live YouTube. I, I don't know. I can't. I want her voice on the one that I add to my playlists in Spotify. Because I, I found Nightwish when she was already the singer. So she's just like my gal. She is Stark Galadriel, and I love her. You were at Disney World during your birthday, and you're put on a private pirate scavenger hunt around the park. That's fun. <laughs> That's real fun. I've never been to Disney World. I've been to Disneyland a whole bunch, but not in Disney World. Okay, sorry, I know there's other stuff on the queue, but I just gotta hear this sleeping, uh, sleeping sun arrangement really quick. Let's see if it's any good. It's just
Okay, I will have to keep searching because we have to find one that has like a prettier, flowier piano part on it. Um, Johnson, thanks. Thanks for all the gifted subs. I didn't hear a little ding for that, but I'm glad I saw it at least. Thank you. You're so sweet. Yeah, I agree, Nuka. That is exactly what I think. They should go re-record it with Floor. She's... Me too. Are you a vocalist? Are you a singer? Um, she is incredible. Like her control and just mastery and the uh, holy cow, she's amazing. Toasty, what's up, what's up? Hi. Okay, well that's gonna have to go on the song list or that has to be like a cover cover that I make because I love that song. I'm writing it down. Sleeping sun. I will say, who who is, if you guys were just feeling free in the shower, whatever, who do you belt? Like, who who do you sing? What do you sing? Because mine is Flory Anson from Nightwish. <laughs> I try. There's no way I could match that, but I try real hard. Okay, sorry, back to the back to the song list. I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting on your requests. We got some Celtic fiddling. Yes, so yes. T Swift, oh yeah. Jordan Wright from City of Sound. Have you heard of him? <laughs> The Halo theme song. We, I mean, I can play Halo right now for you, Porcupine, but as far as making like an actual build-out cover that I spend time on, I would love to do that one as well. That's a great idea too. Like that's that's the hard thing is I'm doing one per month, and it's really hard to choose <laughs> only one per month. But Halo, yeah, I might have to be in there. Um, it's it, like here are the qualifications. Like I have to feel like it's genuine to me just because I'm spending so much time with it and I want, I need a little pocket of the world where I just feel like it's coming from my heart, you know, like my heart. And um, so it's gotta be that. It's obviously gotta be something people wanna hear too a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't know, basically that. <laughs> so yeah, Halo checks out, Sleeping Sun checks out. No one that isn't COS. Yes. Lovejoy. Okay. 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 Love it. Love it. <laughs> well, she practiced accents in the shower. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> What's your favorite accent to mimic? Okay, Holcomb, I'm going to play The Truth Untold next, but honestly, it's been so freaking long that I am going to review it really quickly with the original, so I'm not going to let you guys... 
Uh, do I risk playing the original on stream? Uh, I don't think I should. So I'm going to not let you guys hear the music, but that means the violin's going to sound loud and not reverby. So bear with it. I just got to refresh a little bit here. Scottish. Yeah, Scottish is such a pretty, pretty accent. Very fun. It always makes me smile. Okay, so just practicing for a sec. <laughs> to play it, but I'm sorry if it's not the most perfect. I will mark it to review. It's a beautiful song though by BTS. Thank you. 
okay, I remembered it. It came back to me. You hate how you can't reply to specific messages on mobile? Hmm. Sophie, America wouldn't be able to handle you. That might be true. No. Sophie, you and I, we got to do like a holiday switch, like a house switch someday. I can go live in the UK for like a, two weeks and you can come here. <laughs> and live with the boys for two weeks. Good luck. Part two, yours is up next, and you are just keeping it with the magic feel today. The throwback magical feel. You wouldn't want to live here? Sure I would. I, th I think I would like it better there than here. So many chores. Oh. Well, we meet at the end, like the movie. You know? UK politics aren't the best. Uh, I see. Terrible food. I actually have heard that it's very bland food, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. But that I'd be okay with that because um, I eat the same thing every day. Like, I don't, you know, change it up that much. So that'd be okay. <laughs> I bet you guys have the best thrift, thrift shops. And I love thrifting. And just so much history and character and fairies. UK food is decent. <laughs> yeah, US politics aren't great either. <laughs> yeah, what are you guys talking about? I stay out of it. I stay out of all of it. I just gotta work on getting my mind right and taking care of the people that I love. That's all I can do.
have to wait for that last little beat of sound. Does Tori Kelly have a cover of that song? Uh, I know what I'm listening to today. Stole your heart. <laughs> Got it. You can have it back. Toasty. Oh, I can't wait to make it over to the UK. I can't wait. I'm going to love it there. I'm very mad that my little brother got to experience it before me. He went on a cruise and was in London for, I don't know, a few days. It's the only time you'll admit to enjoying it. <laughs> oh, good, Porcupine. I'm glad. This, um, yeah, violin can make anything sound relaxing if it's done decently. <laughs> or it can sound like nails on a chalkboard. It's not a bad place. I think I would like, I would feel more connected to it than I do Los Angeles. I will tell you that. Cards. <laughs> what do you guys have against Ed Sheeran? Jeez. Okay, we got Scars up next for Toasty. Where the pieces were left with holes still I know that I can regain these broken wings and fly
That double kick at the end is so fun. Baby England. Yeah, we don't have castles. Porcupine, what did you hate about California? I'm curious. Also, were you, you was down in San Diego, right? Cause TwitchCon? <laughs> England's bullied brother. Andrew covered Taylor, Taylor Swift on guitar and you're not okay. Yeah, he's been doing some uh, little guitar uh, nuggets. So if we do, I do have to add a Taylor Swift on here. Like that, it only makes sense. What, I know you've put it into the Discord before, but if you could choose a song today, what would be your fave? Yeah, I like San Diego. Okay. It's still not quite my aesthetic, but I like it better than LA for sure. I think I would like mm, up north a little bit more. The lakes, the people. Well, for, okay. Lakes, the people. Wait, the lakes, the lakes. I saw the lakes, the people. Oh, geez, my brain. The lakes. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Is the lakes the Taylor Swift song, or are you talking about things you like about scenery? <laughs> the prices, yeah. The drivers, yeah. Okay. And the people, uh-huh, uh-huh. See, you get it. <laughs> Those are the things I don't like, too. <laughs> no, there's some awesome, you know, I've, I've found beautiful, wonderful people here. But in general, I don't like the chaos and the selfishness of the city very much of this city the lakes is the taylor swift song okay i'm not great at pop culture guys <laughs> believe it or not <laughs> shake it up shake it up i know that one yeah oh for sure but porcupine definitely it's um yeah it's crazy somebody was like Jordan was telling me about his friend who was complaining that gas went up to like two fifty a gallon, and I'm like, it's almost at seven here again. Boo. $80 parking ticket. Oh, yeah. We have that, like, uh, on the street I live on. If you forget to move your car because there's sweet street sweeping, sweet sweeping, <laughs> street sweeping um, on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So if you park your car on the wrong side of the road, you get, like, an $80 ticket. So I put, like, tons of alarms in my phone and alerts and reminders to make sure to go move my car. It's not great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, forget that. Worst trip. Oh, Porcupine. Which... Was this TwitchCon? What year was this? I can't... I know it, we've uh, seen each... We've run into each other at Smart LCS, right? But we didn't run into it, to each other at TwitchCon back in 2019, was it? We were there? Neurotics, hello. Hello. Okay. I also need to end about 10 minutes early because if I don't, I have something at three and I won't be able to get any food and I need to eat a snack or my brain will die. It was the same year as the RLCS event. Okay. Yeah. Well, I had a wonderful experience when we went to TwitchCon years ago, but <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun. Just like 10 minutes early, so, um, yeah, I just gotta eat something. Okay, Mass Effect. Don't, don't speak to me about RLCS. Yeah, I, I saw 
RLCS Worlds was the best trip of your life. Aw, oh, first time traveling alone? That was a wonderful experience all around. It was. Yeah, seriously, Welsh, that's what it seems like. Just big giant shit show. Vegas tickets are dirty. We'll find a way to make sure that we get to meet our people. <laughs> At least we have the internet to hang out. Hi Relic, how's it going? What's your day like today? <laughs> N need to overreact to neck change, Ooh, yeah. All gone, boo hoo. All right, let's play some Halo.
I like this one very much. <laughs> I like it too, Toasty. A very well composed piece. <laughs> Need to re replay the Halos this year. Yes. First multiplayer game you played, you're pretty sure? Nice. I, uh, the only memories I have of Halo is getting stuck in a corner and not being able to move. <laughs> I'm really bad at that one. Misa, you bought some Star Wars lightsaber. I have Star Wars lightsaber chopsticks. I wonder if they're the same ones. The only problem is I tried to use them and they're very slippery. Are they the plastic ones? I could not pick up anything. They were too slippery. But they're real fun. They're real cute. I also have a like a fan back in the day bought me a one of the like nice lightsabers. It's over there. I have it hanging. Um, one of the like $300 ones. <laughs> I used to love Star Wars, but Disney's ruined it. It's a shithole in England that's decorated with lights to make it seem great. <laughs> well, at least it's decorated with lights. Sometimes I feel like I just live in a shithole that's not decorated. Disney ruins everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, currently they have been, I feel like, personally. Just need Walt Disney to be on Frozen. <laughs> yeah. Then it will be good again. <laughs> yeah, I, I love Clone Wars. I love the original three. Even the one episode one, two, and three without Jar Jar Binks and some of the silliness, I I can get down with. Um, but yeah, none of the new stuff. Star Wars Resistance is one of the worst things you've ever watched. And it was just so sad. Like R.I.P. <laughs> what a world! What a world that you've ruined. Okay, Sailor Moon! Speaking of nerdums, I love me some Sailor Moon. My first anime. I haven't either, Porcupine, because I'm kind of like boycotting it. I don't even want to give it a chance. And they had such good actors in those films, the new ones, but it's still, yeah, that, nah, no. Clone Wars is Star Wars done right. Sorry. Okie dokie dee.
So if that was one of your one of the ones you like, um, yes, Mandalorian season one was really good. I will, I take back the strong statement I said before. That's the only one though. <laughs> Invincible and Prime, The Boys. Okay, I haven't. I, I'm really bad at watching new shows because I just don't want to invest and then be disappointed. So I watch all my favorite things over and over again and nothing new. Uh, fun experience watching everything every. Oh, I heard that was good. You spend a good part of it wondering why you were watching it and then holy moly okay that's a good happy surprise good dairy girls okay um yeah sophie thank you for the reminder i do probably need to go um my tummy's growling <laughs> also nuka i i think i've been like pondering i think i'm gonna do sleeping sun in march i think that's gonna be my march release because now i'm excited about it so thank you for bringing that back to my attention Boys and Gen V, super cool. Okay, okay. Phone could try. Okay, bye, porcupine. <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna go. So you, you go take care of your phone, and um, I plan on streaming next Monday. I might have to look at my schedule. I did get a couple new inquiries for some new students, so I might have to move things around a little bit to make room. But um, I'll let you guys know in the Discord and on Twitter and all the things. Okay, gonna go eat. Hi, Potty Pot. Oh, thanks, Mama. She's my mom. You guys have a great weekend, too. I hope it's just the best, and let's just keep the good vibes rolling all year long. Love you guys. Um, I'm not gonna raid because I just gotta go. So, 